What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the continuation of our Convergence playthrough. Uh, so I've updated the mod. We are now on version 1.2, which does a couple things. Uh, one of the first being that this was, in fact, toned back down. Um, regardless, we stopped using it already, so that kind of works out. Um, besides that, I've also read this version does a bunch of stuff to Redmain Castle. So apparently Redmain, and then some folks mentioned the uh, Lake of Rot, as well as Deep Root, have gotten significant overhauls. So I'm going to be making my way by those, checking them on out. Uh, let me just look through these real fast, see if there's... Do, 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 do. See if there's anything I want that I don't have. Do I have a bubble tier yet? I don't. Let's get one of those. Mm, I don't know what else I would need. <gasps> oh, Lake of Rot. Speaking of, that would be fantastic. Grants immunity to rot. And then I'll probably need this for the Lord of Blood, but for now, let's snatch up that. I think that's a good grab. Um, so I could go here, and I think I'm gonna, because I was thinking about it, it's either I do that, or I do Radon next, but I know that there's, you know, stuff here that's, that's, you know, related to, uh, me being a... What do we even describe ourselves as? I mean, we're not technically a godskin, a disciple of the Black Flame. I don't know what the right descriptor would be. But either way, what we do know is that there is stuff in Volcano Manor for me to obtain. And to be honest, Raycard's not usually that hard of a boss. I believe they've removed the... Uh, you, you don't kill him with the, the thing anymore. You actually fight him now. And supposedly it's been rebalanced, so we'll see how that is. It's a handsy. I think I might drop Black Firestorm, though. I mean, I feel like the amount of time I spend trying to get a cast off with it, you know, it doesn't feel worth it. Like, it doesn't feel like the the damage I get out of it is comparable to the charge time of the cast. Something tried to hit me. Volcano Manor. Ba -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. Volcano Manor. I mean, like, the little bits of tick, they add up, but. I don't know. I, I just don't. I don't think Black Firestorm is. I don't think it's the play, you know? Tried using it. It just doesn't really do what I need it to do. I think the other thing is like, you know, Soul Annihilation, that goes on. God Slayer Sickle, fast. Black Flame Orb, solid damage. Quick tickle with that. And then AoE. Like, there's not really a place for Black Firestorm. It just kind of. It exists, but I don't feel like it's doing anything incredible for me. Cool spell. Just doesn't really pan out well. Uh, so we'll take that off. I wish this was better. That's a really cool idea. It just tickles too much. Could work with that. But I think I'll stick with the stuff I have for now. Um, close to leveling up. Let's go up here. There's a portal here now. Is there still a fight? There is! Man! Uh-oh, somebody got caught in an animation.
Goodbye. BB blood loss build up. Where do you go? Hmm. I'm trying to think where this will be pointing to. Fort Laid. Okay. Staff of Briar. Heirloom Remnant. Not really sure there's anything for me to do over here. I guess I could go kill the, the Magma Worm. So, about the bird, if you have, rise with us. Your denial, you belong. The drawing room, I am Tanith. The drews, the key. Is it this one? I think this is the pathway, if I'm remembering. That's the one. Uh, let's just talk to the NPCs real fast. I want to see if there's there's black shirt. This one then. I am underlaid. Brave underlaid. What in heaven's a volcano? I hope you are. Well, I thought you were perhaps playing, but no, that the before you can this before you can All right, well, we can go do what I actually came here to do, which is murder the boss. Oh, this is the, uh, the, uh, fake false wall. One that people discovered you could deal damage to it over and over again, and then they went crazy. It was assuming it was a secret when it was actually just a, a error in programming that was ignored because it was easier to just give the wall 999,000 health than it was to actually fix the issue.
The music in the Volcano Manor always reminds me of Berserk. Oh no, there's, there's a very similar kind of like chord or series of melodies that's like da 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 da. It's, I remember it in the like original Berserk. Every time I'm here, I'm reminded of it. Soul Annihilation is quite pricey. I like it, but... Oh, come on. Calm down there, Bloodborne. I like that when the fire hits, those guys like trip and fall. Like the stagger it causes, it's pretty cool. Some good runes going through here. Let's take a look. What do we need? I should be set for the next set of spells, but I kind of want to hit 30-30 just because it's just, I don't know. It's a good number. I remember that used to be the breakpoint for hex spells back in Dark Souls 2. I know I'm kind of just like zipping and zooming through some of these areas, but knowing that there are areas that are uh, like completely changed makes me want to you know, get through these areas to spend more time in the brand new ones. Get the shortcut. Do I, need, oh, I don't really need the magma worm, but no. Let's just let's just take care of it. 
mean, it's not like it's going to be hard. I mean, it shouldn't be, at least. And he's a bunch of souls, so... Runes, excuse me. Gotta call it runes, or the purists will get upset. Oh, wow, what the fuck? Damn, damn. I'm all the way back here. I thought, oh, never, I'm not as far back as I thought I was. Uh, but damn, dude, the magma, that was insane. I might not be fighting that dude. I mean, him, I could fight him, fine, but I did not think his magma breath was going to be like, oh, yep, and you're dead. That was... Yikes. His health deleted. the hell, man? Rude. It is HP percentage based because I'm doing 20 to him. Or 150 versus the 20 I was doing before. Oh, fuck. Gotta go. What is he doing? I do want to check out and see what I can get with Dragon Hearts now. Bye, dummy. Another pretender. That's honestly the summon I want to get. Someone mentioned it's in a hidden path to the Hallow Tree, so we're gonna go. Actually, I think about it. I have. The hidden path to the Hallig Tree, so maybe we should go through that. I don't think I could get through the, the Hallig Tree itself. But the hidden path to the Hallig Tree, I think I could manage. Because it's mostly just giant ants, and then, uh... 
giant ants and uh, the dudes. The um. The bubble boys, I guess. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Trumpet ears. Um. We don't have our rune effect, do we? We'll probably craft those now, I bet. Hmm, well, let's see him. Well, this is... As far as I know... Death Touch Catacombs, Volcano Manor, Divine Tower, Lyurnia. So Spirit Caller Cave is the final one. Spirit Caller Cave and Malaketh, which is end 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 game. So let's see if we can't punch our way past this guy. I already beat you once. Alright, that's getting kind of annoying. Ow. 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 Godskin Stitcher, Glowing Rune of the Black Flame, and Shimmering Relic Remnant. Stitcher inflicts Soul Burn. Hmm. Impaling Thrust versus Piercing Fang. I mean, 11.15 is two stat points off. 120 critical, 120. This has bleed build up though. And this weighs less. And to be honest, I think I think it's let's see. Let's do a little bit of measuring. So tip of our blade is right there. Oh, would you look at that? That's actually longer. But I don't really like heavy thrusting. You know, it's just something about it. I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't really do it for me. There's this, just poke, poke, poke. It's something, there's sa something satisfying about that, you know? Black Flame Mortar, Blessing of Gloam, and Black Flame Ritual and Noble Presence. Okay, um... Crashes down upon enemies, we'll try that out. New player a buff. Increasing all holy damage by 5%, decreasing FP consumption of incantations by 10, and... Oh, wow, that's... Okay, so that's very nice. That's going on for sure. I think those those work the, the same way they always have. I'm gonna try them out real fast.
that. And then, uh, where was it? Where was it? Is it? It's over here. Yeah, we're gonna try out these new spells. about it. That seems pretty good. Just throw it up. Seems like against uh, larger targets in particular, I might be able to throw that up and get some consistent damage in on the fight. So if a single cast of that is getting, you know, 1,500, 2,000 damage, that's a keeper. Give me a way to do, like, some fast AoE while still maintaining melee distance on a target. Yeah, they still got your ass. God, what the fuck? No, that thing came after me? The saying of Gloom. Oh God. The damage on that's actually like really nice. It's just, I don't know. I've never been a fan of that move. I'm just gonna run. I've already seen what magma does. I can have... Oh, I don't have it on right now. Goodbye. Okay. So, we're gonna try you out. Put on Black Flame Ritual. I want to see if this stacks with this. Moment of truth, though. Wait, was it already on? Oh, yeah, those do stack. It's quite nice. One last three minutes, the other's indefinite. Um, I didn't get to really try this out, but I have I have high hopes for this. Oh, nope, there it goes. Just notice I have 55,000 runes. Let's go ahead and spend that right now. Uh, 30, 30. Now let's focus figure. 
Cause I am like I am in a situation now where like I get hit and I'm like, oh my health. Magma. Maybe I should do a build where I use liquid hot magma. Oh, God. That's new. Can I get a critical on you? Meow, mortar. This doesn't seem that strong, but it does seem like it has insane tracking. Like, this may replace my little pop shot as a new pop shot, just because it's like... I wish I could like multicast this. That would be that would be cool. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I like that. It's that's funny, right? It's like meow. Like it's great room, glowing relic, second keystone, and remembrance of the blasphemous. Let's see, second keystone. So do you increase toll by twenty? Mm, I'll, I'll keep that on. Radon Estelle or Riker Lord of Blasphemy. I don't know if I'm gonna kill Regal Ancestor Spirit, uh, but I'm definitely killing Radon's ass. Yeah, that mortar is uh it's interesting. I I will say it's that's pretty cool. How it's just like you know, just comes in from the sky and pop shots him. That would be a cool one, though, to, like, if you, like, hold it, your character just do, 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 just keeps firing them up. They'd have to, like, reduce the damage or the stagger or something on it, but, like, honestly, I think that would be really cool.
gonna have to give that recommendation to the discord especially because i feel like you can't use that all the time you know you're gonna have to be in a in a, an open setting where that's gonna actually pull off and, and do what it needs to ah good old blasphemous blade baby at cc scaling ah uh, it would be beautiful but no 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 i don't need that Could I get it? Oh, sure. It doesn't fit this character. I'll tell you what I'm about to get though is some levels. Okay, you need great smithing, and you're eventually gonna be my main. You need great somber. Okay. I need somber for that too. Um, where do I go? Well, actually, first thing I'm gonna do. Pop this. Boom. And I'm still getting decent returns there. It's, uh, is that 29? No. 39. Let me just keep pumping it up up until I have more health. Um, remnant. We already got that. Um, I'll wait. Let me, let me wait and figure out like what, what build I might want to go towards before I spend it. Hallow tree canopy. Which one is the hidden path to the Hallow tree? Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. So if Black Flame Amon is hidden path, that, no, well, hang on. Yeah, that is, that's here, that's that little thing, okay. So that's still, still a ways off for our buddy. Um, what do we want to do? We've cleared this. I think before Altus, we go on over here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think that's... Well, yeah, we can go over here real fast. I'd like to test test damage on our, our wonderful friend. Where was he? He's to the north, I think? Seriously, where is he? Why am I? Friend? Test dummy? Where are you? You here? There you are. I was worried we lost you for a second. Okay, so Black Flame Mortar, uncharged. That is respectable. 756. Charged? That didn't even hit. Oh, so this can't be used in close range. Three, four, five. Let's see. 626, that's weird. That's going to be really good for quick persistent damage. The interesting thing, I feel like my mortar did more damage uncharged. Or maybe I can't actually charge it. Let me see. Maybe it does not charge. I'm not. Where are my spells at? There we go. Should say charging increase in charging combat. Okay, so it does not charge at all. I like that though. I like that.
So for spells, um, I mean, boom, boom. This should be, well, if I'm gonna go melee, I, I would probably want to do, if I'm fighting something, well, let me, let me think what I hear. So long range mortar. We, you know, we have our nuke, we have mortar. If we're gonna melee, it would be Black Flame, Ritual, followed by Godslayer Sickle. The AoE of Black Flame Wave, and then our buff. And then I wanna put on the other buff, which means I need to get a Memory Stone, which, not getting that one. I think the two that I know of over here require bullshit to do. This one does not. Let's get a memory stone so we can have our buff on. I mean, I could go that way and talk to Ronnie and find out what that's all about, like how how her quest works now. But uh, what do we got on time? Forty minutes. It's funny. I was reading through. So we did we did a poll on whether we should keep these these episodes for Elden Ring at an hour, and it was overwhelmingly yes. Which you know I don't mind. Um, you know, every every now and again, a longer episode is fine, and for something like Elden Ring, honestly, thirty minutes isn't really enough time to get much done, so it works out. But it's funny, someone's like, "Oh, with hour-long episodes, you're gonna get cranky, I bet," and I'm like, "What? Like cranky? Playing one of my all-time favorite games? Don't know about that one." All right. Three wise beasts. If I remember, I think this was the sneakier version. I don't remember this. Hang on, was this the one where there's like one that's like hanging off a ledge? Is it? Okay, well, I need you to... Get off of me. Straight up. Okay. One beast down. Do you think this is the one where the beast is like in a middle area? I might be mixing them up. You're just kind of out in the open. Misremembering this? Is this a different beast? Because I know one of them it's like there's a there's a ledge and I think I am almost positive this is that one. If I don't find it in like a second, I'm just gonna look it up because I'm not wasting time, you know, remembering where the third of the three wise beasts are. I think that was it. I think there's one where it's like you drop down. Yes. Look at that. Alright, that'll give me... Oh, 
this is a memory slot one. Because right now I feel like every spell has a, a distinct use. You know, Soul Annihilation is just pumping up more damage for us, so that's an obvious inclusion. Black Flame Morb has been our primary go-to cast for just damage in all situations. Black Flame Mortar is our quick, our far shot, which replaced our other far shot, so that works out. We have Black Flame Ritual, which has some melee potential. That kind of conflicts a little bit with God Slayer Sickle, but I think of God Slayer Sickle as I'm getting in the thick of things, whereas the other one is kind of like, throw and forget, like toss it up and get out of there. Um, and then beyond that, we of course have our AoE with the wave and two buffs. Which I think, I mean, from, from a spellcasting perspective, uh, I'd, I'd say this, this covers pretty much all of our bases, you know. We have like an amplifier, main damage dealer, ranged, basically spacing, melee, AoE, and then buffs. Which is kind of how, uh, if I was making a custom class, that's kind of what I'd want it to have. So it works out quite well. Into Kaelid. I mean, technically we already did Kaelid, but... Into Kaelid again. I'm pretty much just gonna run straight there, though. I don't think, um... You know, the, the more... Negligible areas... I don't really think there's a point in doing those. So we're gonna make our way. I've heard Red Main Castle has been reworked significantly, so we'll clear that out. Do that boss fight. And then we'll go after your boy Radon. And then besides that, that'll open the path to the underground. But no, no, actually, hang on. Let me think here. I remember. Yeah, it's killing Radon. That'll open up the underground areas that we really want. It seems like that actually does a little bit of stagger and knockback. So it's some, some nice spacing for an aggressive enemy. Imagine that you're like, oh, so what a starting spot. Walk out immediately, you gotta fight Anastasia. You're just like, wait, what? Yeah, so we'll do do this, we'll do Radon. I'm not gonna bother with Soifer, I'll wait until after I've unlocked the like good stuff. Yeah. That spell's so freaking cool. But you know what else is really cool?
Ooh, great somber. Ah! This is different. Did not used to be a wall here. Kalid got some updates. There's a whole wall. Interesting. Didn't expect much out of him. Oh. Finding lots of stuff for magma. buggy, but that's all right. I think I'm gonna just take it up. Take it all the way up to 40. I wonder if this got reworked at all. Oh, well, no. Part of me is like, I should do that, and the other part's like, I should go kill a Zeke's and get a buttload of runes. That's what we're gonna go do instead. I like how it feels like pretty much anything can be cast while you're mounted now. It's quite nice. I went and got Caden. I don't think I've even summoned him once. I think a big part of it is, is obviously I'm very, very strong here. And so we're doing more than enough damage that I don't necessarily think Caden is needed. But at the same time, I feel like I am progressing faster than uh, I don't think a summon could keep up with it essentially hmm 
Meow. Uh, no, don't want to take you off. Uh, got it. <laughs> it's so funny. It just is little. It's, I'm literally just bombarding him. Copy that. Target is acquired. We are dropping the mortar. Boom. 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 This thing is literally like the dragon killer. It's amazing. Anyway, let's run over to the cathedral real fast. We'll see what kind of dope shit dragon builds yet. Is there still that goofy asshole guarding the way in? Try that again. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I have to have uh, something that makes me a dragon cultist before I can interact with them. Either way, we are quite close to where we want to be. Coming right up on uh, very close to that 40 vigor threshold right before we reach your boy Radon. Which is good because any less than that isn't really the kind of health I'd want to fight Radon with. Yeah, I think the game plan is next episode we will check out updated red main castle we'll do that we'll fight radon we'll make our way underground and uh from there we'll go back to carrion royal manor turn in ronnie's quest make our way to the lake of rot check that out little uh Little deep root depths, check that out. There's a lot to do still. Alright, but let us wrap things up here for now. Next episode, Red Main Castle, which supposedly this new patch 1.2 updated it and made it super cool. So stay tuned and I'll catch y'all then.